Okay, so what's next here? Did I talk to, to her? Let's try. Davies. Not now, Reed. Go do your job. Okay. Dr. Gallagher is one of the best at what she does. She also has a stick up her ass about it. <laughs> no, 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 come on. Let's try to talk again. Gallagher? Reed? Oh, I forgot to talk to her. Okay. What can you tell me about the body? What do we have here? White male, mid-40s, cause of death, strangulation. So he was definitely killed by the hanging? No doubt about that. He suffered a very agonizing death. The cerebral hypoxia was as slow as it could have been. English? Deprivation of oxygen to the brain. <laughs> it's so much clearer. <laughs> signs of struggle. Any signs of struggle? Not exactly, but there are marks on the body. Bowlby can fill you in on his theories. Any idea how someone got him up there without struggling? I can't say for sure without running an autopsy. Look at the spots in the shirt. Most likely saliva. In victims of hanging, the tongue protrudes by the pressure on the jaw, causing it to dry. My best guess is that the saliva was then caused by some kind of a drug used prior to the suffocation. The killer must not have been strong enough to do this without drugging the victim. John Doe here is very well built. I couldn't take him. Are you kids done theorizing? I'd like to get back to my work. She's a workaholic. <laughs> Suffocation. A very slow death, you say? I believe he was not dropped, but rather raised with the rope. Add to that the height of this table, just tall enough for the victim to reach it with his toes from time to time, allowing for the compression of the trachea to stop every once in a while. What about loss of consciousness? The weight of the body causes the compression of the airway, arteries, and jugular veins. If done correctly, the victim should pass out in a matter of seconds. But in this case, you can see how his brain expanded. Look at the veins in his forehead. He stayed conscious for at least 30 to 45 minutes. Jesus. Maybe more. <laughs> Whoever did this must have really hated the guy. He also defecated. It's another sign of prolonged cases of suffocation. So that's the smell. And Davies pinned it on my sandwich. <sighs> Lovely as ever, John. Some more details? What else can you tell us? I'm trying to finish my work, if you don't mind. Stop by the morgue tomorrow and we can talk more. And bring something to keep Bowlby entertained and stop him from coming down to interrupt me when I'm working. Hey, I heard that. Good. When did they move forensics? They just moved him into our building this week. Temporarily, they said. Thankfully, it's only him. I'd go crazy if they brought the whole forensics freak show. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? Excuse me now. I'd like to finish this so I can get back home to my cats. <laughs> to my cats? <laughs> Jesus. A cat woman. I'll bug you again if I need more info. Try to be quick. Okay. Did I, I talk it. to this guy? Hello, Agent Reed. Yep. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> um. What about John? See anything interesting? We better. You know, Davies is gonna grill us with questions, so let's comb through everything. Okay, so what now? Can I go outside to get some fresh air? Ah, oh, it's a shame. Huh. I can use my sense. Oh, there we go. Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. What? Come on, why not? 
the blood's better. He was definitely drugged with something. What's this? Table. What the hell is that? Happening again. This is getting out of control. I haven't been able to get a grasp on it lately. What on earth was that? Hmm. Maybe this thing is killing me. Especially. I'm here. I don't know. We'll see. What the fuck are you doing? Come on, bitch, get out of here. Since Scott died, it's slowly gotten worse and worse. Are you all right? I'll manage. Hmm. She's predicting the future, I think. Okay, there's something under this shelf. Let's see what this is. Some. I have no idea. Like a disc. But. I have no idea what this is. Hey, John, any idea what this is? No clue. Ask Terrence. Okay, I'll ask him. Artifact. What? If this is an artifact... <laughs> I mean, come on. Hey, Terrence. Yo, E! What can you tell me about this? Do you know what this is? It was under the shelf. <laughs> no freaking clue. Looks old. Is that evidence? Are you confiscating it if I say it is? Maybe. Does it have any prints? Ah, screw it. Keep it. But bring it to me tomorrow. Oh, and keep it clean. You said it looks old? Yeah. I've seen something similar. Ask me another day. When there's coffee. Terrence? Really, I, I, I don't know. Do whatever you have to do with it and bring it back. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Reed? McCoy? Oh, joy. Come talk to me when you're done asking around. We better make sure we know our facts before talking to Davies. There's all we need to know. Right? Blood. What about letter? The roof is a dead end. I don't need to go up. Yep. Talk to her. Reed, we're paying for the damn cell phone so that you take the call when I ring you. Is that clear? Now, what have you found? How did the victim die? <laughs> he was hanged. <laughs> Shot in the head. <laughs> Suffocation. Who is our John Doe? That's a damn good question. We can't identify the victim yet because the victim's fingertips have been skinned. Any leads on the killer? Nope. 
Hmm. <laughs> no. This is not. Killer was smaller. No. Terrence has a lead based on DNA. Just from standing right here, I can see what a load of crap you just told me. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Working Fuck late you. on Scott's case again. Listen, you asshole. I was closing the case because you told me to. Watch your mouth, Reed. I put my job on the line by letting you work on a case in which you are so personally involved. And I did it out of respect for your father. If you had just let me, I was so close. I... No, you weren't. I saw your reports. You had nothing. Consider this a favor. I told you it's time to move on. Are we done? I want you at my office tomorrow morning sharp. And bring your five senses this time, if you value your job. She's a real bitch. Uh, are you alright? I just need a minute. Oh, she's gonna die. Ugh, they're getting worse. What this looks is? bad. <sighs> My visions. I told you to go see someone about that. Shh, they'll hear you. Do you still have that card I gave you? Yes, John, I do. But the whole hocus pocus thing, it's not me. Listen, Rose runs an antique shop. That thing you found, Terrence says it was an antique. So go ask her about it, and while you're there, maybe bring up these visions of yours. What can it hurt? If that will shut you up, fine. I'll go tomorrow. Go now. She's a night owl. Closed in the mornings, open all night. Great. That sounds perfectly normal. Go on. I'll hit your ride to the office. 